You know when you tell somebody that doesn't live in Idaho that you do? You could say anything. Because as soon as they hear Idaho, all they're hearing out your mouth is just potato, 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 potato. potato. <laughs> not everybody, not everybody's being inclusive. Some people it's potato, potato, potato. <laughs> Which makes sense, we grow a lot of potatoes here. Obviously, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Look, I eat so many, I look like a russet that needs a shave. Hey, I did research for that joke. I did. I googled, what's the fattest potato? <laughs> I did. And what came up was a, a picture of a russet. But so did my headshot. That was weird. <laughs> the other thing that comes up about living in Idaho is the fact that we have lots and lots of guns. Yeah, let's give it up for guns, right? Sir? Okay, they don't like that one in Portland. They... <laughs> Silence. But it's kind of cool because I finally figured out a way to get a room full of people from Portland to shut up for a minute. <laughs> and while I don't have any problem with them, I don't personally own any guns. And I've got friends here, uh, friends in Portland think that's very reasonable. But he's here and I don't think that that makes me the crazy one. Did that at a show in Boise a couple weeks ago. This dude shouted out, it does! <laughs> I had to, I'm gone when shit goes down, man. I don't own any guns. I got a buddy. He's like, hey, Nigo, I can't believe you don't own any guns. I got 17. You should get some guns. And I'm like, look, Kyle, <laughs> you got 17 guns. I don't need any. It's called herd immunity. <laughs> no mess with Idaho, man. But I did compromise. I did compromise when I moved here to Idaho, and I got myself a potato gun. Yeah, so far we gotta stand my ground. <laughs> it's gonna be with freshly ground rosemary. <laughs> and delicious carbs. Yeah, they'll be even covered in welts and they'll be carb loaded. <laughs> oh, I'm getting some groans there. That's, that's great. <laughs> I got an email from my kid's school that said they were late for class. I thought that was a little strange because at the time. They went to school on Zoom. It's like, how are you late to the place where you wake up? It's called sleeping in. They're going back to the in-person school now, though. They're doing in-person. I'm pretty glad about that because it's weird doing the online school that the teachers have this expectation that the parents were supposed to help <laughs> with their kids' education. <laughs> Like, dude, I pay good tax dollars to the state of Idaho. I'm supposed to be able to just drop them off in the morning, pick them up later, have them come back just slightly less stupid. That's <laughs> supposed to be the deal. Bar's not very high. And there's some subjects I don't really want to help them with, quite honestly. I got two boys, 12 and 13 years old. Uh, sex ed? No, thank you. <laughs> it's like... I mean, it is Idaho, so it's probably just some dude who's going to run through the class and yell, SEX! I'm like, what was that? Well, that was Ed. <laughs> that was sex, Ed. Now let's go back to learning why we should all be Mormon. <laughs>